Hi, in today's video we're doing a longish term review of the Fitville Low Top Sturdy Core Hiking Shoes. Now these were sent out to me by Fitville, um, they offered me two pairs of free shoes which I selected. I chose a sneaker pair and these hiking shoes. So all we're going to do today is have a quick look at them, unbox them and just give you a little look at them before I take them out and start hiking them and getting them covered in mud and wrecked. So I'm not going to do any kind of review on them until I've done at least 100 miles of, of walking. So I will link in the description all of the specs and link to the model themselves. Um, but first impressions are they seem well made, decent sole, decent amount of tread, obviously tread is the crucial part, how long is that tread going to last, how many miles am I going to get out of these, um, we'll have to wait and see. So they seem like they're a comfy brand, I've already worn the other pair a couple of times and they've been absolutely fine, so I will take these out, do loads of hiking in different conditions and then we'll come back and have a review and uh, see what they're like. Obviously I've been sent these to review but I'm not being paid in any way, um, there's no script, I don't have to say anything, I can just be completely honest like I am with all the reviews of stuff I buy myself. If you are a regular watcher of the channel you know I've done a lot of walking this year, it's September, I've done about 970 miles so far, and I've done a couple of reviews of pairs of shoes that I've worn out pretty quickly. So we will see how long the tread on these lasts and the tops as well. So on my previous reviews we've seen that the tops have been absolutely fine and the tread has completely worn through into my other pairs of shoes. So we'll see how these compare and uh, yes, I'm going to get out now and go for a first hike in them. I'm approaching 100 miles in these uh, Fitville hiking shoes now and so far I've been really impressed with them. They are not waterproof, they are water resistant, which is relevant now as it's starting to chuck down with rain and the water resistance is pretty good on them. Uh, definitely good for most days but obviously long tall wet grass will be a killer for them after a while and uh, yeah they are not waterproof so worth bearing that in mind. They are very comfortable. From the first walk, they're fitted really well. The comfort level has been really good. I've had no hot spots. I've had no blisters. Although the caveat is I've not done any what I would consider really long walks in them. Um, plenty of five, six, seven miles, that kind of stuff. But nothing like a whole day's walking. I've had a minor up and stuff. I've not been able to get in the, uh, the long walks recently. But I have managed to total up just over 100 miles in them. So one of the things they pride themselves on is their comfort and the wide toe box. And I definitely agree with that. Uh, lots of freedom for your toes, but they're not overly sized. I mean, I've got quite big feet, I'm a size 11, and these are the size 11s, they fit me absolutely fine. Plenty of room for warm socks, but you can easily tighten the laces if you're just wearing summer socks. And they're the kind of shoe, because they're quite lightweight, you can wear them all year round anyway. If you're a regular watcher of my channel, you know I've been doing a lot of hill walking recently and I think in probably 90% of those videos recently I've done them in these in these shoes so you would have seen them <laughs> of the blue and the little yellow on quite a few of my recent videos so I've done a lot of varied terrain in them so I think I've given the, the treads a really good test and so far I've been really impressed with them. Grippy on wet grass, grippy on mud, good on stone, pretty good on wet rock but obviously that is the Achilles heel of most, most treads. In terms of tread wear, I will show you what the tread wear is like, but in general terms, it's doing really well. Obviously, as I mentioned in the introduction, I've worn through a few pairs of shoes already this year, and I've known from the first 15 to 50 miles of a couple of pairs that the treads were wearing really badly and they would not last long. With these treads, no such concern. 
they have lasted really well over the first 100 miles. And because of the nature of those 100 miles as well, I've worn these quite a lot on sort of pavements and road walking locally just to get some miles in on them. So they've had a slightly tougher life than uh, a, walk, a sort of hiking shoe normally should. So the tread standing up to that as well has been really impressive. Obviously, I'm going to come back and do a long term review once I put a few hundred miles into them or obviously once they're worn out and we'll just see how long that tread actually lasts. But indications to start with first hundred miles tread should be good for a good few hundred miles at this rate. In terms of general comfort, I've obviously walked a bit of tarmac on them and that's normally killer for most hiking shoes. That's normally where you start to get the, the feet pain and the ache. Not so with these shoes so far. There seems to be quite a supportive cushioning underneath them, even though they're not very heavy. And uh, the fact that they're lightweight makes them nice and easy to walk and you don't feel like you've got a sort of pair of proper hiking boots on. Uh, they are nice and light, but I've never felt unsupported or uncomfortable. And I've never felt like I've been lacking grip. In terms of how they're wearing, so as I said before, I've done just over 100 miles in these now, a varied walk on different terrains, and the tread is wearing really, really well. I can't really see any particular wear. There is a very, very fine um, finish of tiny lines across them. So on a couple of the grips, those that's worn a bit smooth, um, but that's obviously just a manufacturing uh, finish. The actual tread itself is still extremely good. Bearing in mind that the Mountain Warehouse shoes I bought after 100 miles where <laughs> tread was pretty much non-existent in places. So these aren't actually much more expensive. So I will pop in the description and in the comments a discount code and I'll pop it on the video now that will get you 30% off. So it will get you these for 40 quid. So I think it makes them a pretty good value pair of shoes. The stitching is absolutely fine. The attachment of the um, sole to the upper is absolutely fine. The tread is fine. The little toe protectors are fine. There's no giving the glue on those yet. Um, so yeah, so far so good. Obviously it's only 100 miles, but as I said before, it's 100 miles of quite a lot of hard road, it's hard mat walking, so the tread is done very, very well considering that. Um, but I will definitely keep wearing them because they are very comfortable and I will definitely see how, how many miles I can count of them. One of the interesting things about Fitful is they, they do um, mark themselves as being a company that's very much about foot comfort and foot pain or lack of it. Um, so they try to sort of, they've got quite a few patents around uh, the different sole designs and grips and stuff. And they're kind of, you can see that on the website, they're available in different widths as well. So if you've got wide feet, they'll fit more comfortably, cause less injuries and stuff. So they are interesting uh, company to consider if you have um, foot pain from hiking and stuff. If, you, if you're having trouble getting a, a decent fit for you, they could be well worth a try because they do very much focus on, on that comfort. Uh, in terms of the breathability of them, um, obviously these are water repellent uppers and not waterproof. Um, so the breathability has been pretty good on them, which also means if they do get wet, they do dry out quite quickly as well. So um, I'm obviously not going to wear them on the wettest hikes this winter, but I'll wear them in, in most conditions, I think. As long as you're not getting too much long, wet grass hitting the top, um, they do manage most kind of wet conditions because they've got quite a generous um, sole on them as well. Do check out the links in the descriptions and comments if you want to find out more about them, if you want to look at them and see the range of shoes that they've got. And obviously follow my link, use my discount code if you want to buy a pair. And if you do buy a pair or you own a pair already, let me know in the comments what you think of them. And I will take these out again all over winter and see how many miles I can get out of them. But so far, really, really impressed with them. Anyway, that's about it for the video. So a huge thanks for watching as always. If you want to check out my other gear reviews, I've lunch for a few pairs of shoes this year and boots um, so just check out that playlist and have a look at what other ones I've tried and you might see the real difference between a budget pair of mountain warehouse shoes and how well these are lasting so far. Anyway I will catch you in the next one.